Happy Hispanic Heritage Month, everybody. This is the Slider Review, and I'm here today to talk to you about Odd Squad, Season 1, Episode 24, Training Day. So, Odd Squad was a show I used to watch back in the day for Seasons 1 and 2. It only lasted for three seasons, but I particularly just didn't get into the third season. Yes, I know this is a kid show, but it's a hilarious kid show. See, one day, like I said before, like, you know, I was flipping through TV and then Odd Squad was on. And I'm just like, why are there a bunch of kids dressed as government agents stopping like super powered bad guys? And it was a hilarious show. So it made me laugh so much that I stuck with it for two seasons. And so... This is a PBS show, and what's cool about it is that, like I said before, it's a group of kids that stop like a bunch of like super powered adults, and they use tons of gadgets to stop them, but they also use the power of math. Why? Because it's an educational PBS show. But even though it's educational, it's still fun and hilarious and stuff. Each season always has a different cast, except for that of Miss O. However, Miss O finally left halfway into season three. Reason for this is that when the cast starts to get older into teenagers, they just start recasting. And so, like, that's what happened, you know, after season two. It devastated everybody, but everybody liked the, the cast of season two. And so, this episode, Training Day, deals with that of Agent Olive, played by Delilah Bella. And so... Delilah was, you know, the a kid when she was on the show back then, but I think she's 21 now and everything. And she still acts to this day. And I remember I first saw her on the 100 in the pilot episode, but it was very brief. And then of course this show, and then of course Anne with the E. I love Anne with the E. And so like the thing about Agent Ola, who was always my favorite agent of the show, is like she's very determined. She's very straightforward. She's very like, you know, almost like militant in a way and stuff. Like she's like literally the perfect agent and wants to be the perfect agent and stuff. And so, but I love her determined, um, determined, um, I can't think of that word now. <laughs> <laughs> um, determined, I'll just say determined nature and stuff like even when things get difficult, she never gives up. And this episode is important in that because she was, of course, it was training day. So it was her first like, you know, time at Odd Squad. And like, so I think that she is a good agent, especially not only for like young kids, but of course for young Latinas as well, because Delilah is Latina and stuff, even though she's mixed with a lot of other stuff. And so you might recognize her brother, who ironically looks a bit like her and stuff, especially when she takes her hair down in this episode. I couldn't believe how much she looked like her brother. Her brother, I forget his name, I think it's Raphael. And he played Mateo on Bunked. And so, well, Bunked, what was it? Probably like season three, three, four, and five, I think. But sadly, he left in season six. And Bunked was renewed for season seven. I hate when they recast people. That gets on my nerves and stuff. And, um, but yeah. But those two look so similar and stuff. And so, you know, I've always been a fan of, like, Delilah and everything. And so, like, you know, I decided for, like, Hispanic Heritage Month, you know, just, like, you know, devote this episode to her and stuff. And plus, you know, that's what I do when it's, like, holiday theme videos that I do um, for, like, what is it, like, uh, Women's History Month, LGBT Pride Month. Um, Black History Month, I always focus on like a uh, character from a show from a, a particular group and stuff. And so with this episode, it's her and her um, partner, Otto. And, you know, it always starts off with them solving the odd problem and stuff. However, this is a very unique episode in which they never solve really the crime. And maybe it gets picked up in another episode, but I don't recall. But anyway, 
the Adam Museum, and there's supposed to be a giant ball of gum made up of thousands and thousands of watts of gum. However, when they go there, it's only 43 watts of gum. Some reason this triggers something in her memory where she thinks 43, and she remembers that was the number of her partner from back in the day, her original partner, Todd. So after they scan the room for like oddness and everything using the gadget, they don't realize that he's actually in a painting. See, there's supposed to be 42 paintings on the wall, but there's 43. And so he reveals himself. Now he's dressed like Two-Face from the Batman Forever movie. <laughs> <laughs> that always weirded me out. <laughs> he was dressed like that. But he no longer calls himself Todd. Now he calls himself Odd Todd. And he has a nickname for all of his scribbles. And so, of course, now that he's loose and he's reshown himself after so many years, um, they have to stop him. So they tell Miss O. And Miss O is the one in charge of Odd Squad. And so she's freaking out. And she puts like the entire base on high alert and she contacts the other odd squad bases around the world and stuff because Todd is a very dangerous little kid. Um, but Otto doesn't understand why. So as Olaf is going through like some old photograph of Todd to find out his motive and stuff. She recounts the time that she started off in Odd Squad. Now, when we see her in this flashback, she has her hair down and pent back in a different way. All of because she's so like militant and stuff like that, she always keeps her hair in like a ponytail. But in her training time, in her um, first couple of days in um, Odd Squad, she kept her hair down in a different way. And I forgot she has long hair and stuff. Because when she's in that ponytail, you don't really notice. She always looks like she has short hair and stuff. And so basically, when she started off training, you know, a Fuso, uh, or Ofuso, like train her. Ofuso is a very odd, th um, dramatic character and stuff. And so they're in the lineup and they're giving their names. And Todd is the only one whose name does not start with an O. Everybody in Odd Squad name starts with that of a O, except for Todd. And he has this weird cackle. Basically, he is a child prodigy and everything. Everybody on the team is smart, but he's smarter than them. And he can solve an equation faster than they can. See, the thing with them is that they have to use like paper to write on, which is why he calls her scribbles. And or they have to go to the math room or use the gadget to do the math equation. He's able to do it inside his head and very quickly. So because of that, he's rising high in the ranks. And when it's time for them to go past training day to them actually being an odd squad, he is her partner and stuff and they are solving um case after case after case and he's starting to get a bit cocky and everything because he knows he's so smart and he's so determined but also he seems to like oddness and everything well well one day when they're at base camp um agent oscar who's like the inventor and stuff he shows them a pionator basic or the pie tornado um device it's just a giant like portal device that shoots out pies for some bizarre reason it's an odd comedy show so just go with it right so anyway um at some point oscar gives um all of like a triangle a nader um type gadget and it basically just creates triangles and stuff and so she, um, and so cause you know, they always giving like gadgets. So they have like a litany of gadgets and like some type of like hidden pocket dimension thing that they can just pull out of nowhere out of their back pocket. And so Todd is, like I said before, it's starting to get very cocky and he's starting to just like, you know, just likes the oddness and stuff. Well, one day they're supposed to capture a villain named Tiny Dancer. And so when he's doing like the math equation to find out where she'll strike next on what street, he gives them a false location and everything. This pisses off Mrs. O and she is furious. And he tells her, you know, like, cause the thing about Tiny Dancer, she makes things dances and she's making buildings dance and stuff. And so 
<laughs> this O is all like, thanks to you, these buildings are like wiggling and jiggling. <laughs> so, <laughs> stuff like that. so she's furious and she uprights. He tells her he thinks the world should be more odd and normal is just lame to him. So she fires him. He turns in his badge and he leaves. And so at that point, it devastates Olive because she knows he's a good agent and he can help out. Well, anyways, at some point in time, the Odd Squad, um, Odd Squad like headquarters is under attack. There are pies being thrown everywhere. Why? Because Odd Todd decided he was going to leave with a bang and decide to destroy the entire Odd Squad with the tornado um, pioneer thing. And so pies are going everywhere, destroying like, you know, the building and stuff and agents are being hit left and right with like pies. And he tells her, you know, like, you know, well, early in the episode, he tells her that his new name is um, Odd Top. Anyway, so he tells her he's off to do more odd stuff and this and that. And he leaves cackling and everything. It's weird. He dresses like Two-Face from the Batman Forever movie, but he acts like the Joker. So anyways, he hits um, Miss O with some pies and stuff like that. And she's getting hit with pies. When people get hit by pies, man, they are getting taken down. <laughs> like, them pies must hurt or something. So anyway, Olive is the only one that hit by a pie yet. And Miss O tells her, you know, you have to be the one to stop this because you're the only person that, like left and everything. And well, one of the few people left. And so there's a couple more left. And but Olive is not feeling very confident. See, it takes her a good while to figure out an equation. She's she tells Miss O, you know, I'm not like Todd. I can't figure things out in my head and everything. It takes me a little bit longer. And Miss O gives her some words of encouragement. Tells her no matter how long it takes you to write down on your pad, no matter how long it takes you to fill out this equation, never give up. And then Miss O. Miss um, O gets taken out by like pies <laughs> in very hilarious fashion. And you know, so all of like, you know, she's scribbling on her paper and she's trying to figure it out and everything like that. She's looking at the pie and native machine and she realizes that, you know, what gadgets she has that can stop this. And she has like, you know, a triangle nader but a triangle has three sides and she counts the size of the portal device it has eight a hexagon and so she realizes how is she ever going to stop this but just like miss o said never gives up and i like this it's just like even though like you know math is hard and even though it takes people a little bit longer and they have to show their work and everything like that never ever give up even if you get it wrong, try to figure out where you went wrong and try to solve that equation. And she figures something out. As she's looking at the hexagon and she's looking at the triangles, um, size of a triangle, she realizes something. She can fill up the portal hole with triangles because a hexagon has eight sides and a triangle has three and it takes the shape of that of a triangle. So it's basically like filling up, um, it's kind of like a, a piece of pie or something like that. And so like, you know, she then for the first time, she puts her hair in a ponytail, giving her her iconic look and she goes to work and she's dodging those pies left and right tumbling on the ground jumping through the air using her triangulator to like fill up like you know the, the hole in the portal and stuff and she fills up all the sides except for one she can't get to that angle and everything so oscar decides he's going to sacrifice himself and so he's walking towards also the pioneer machine it throws out wind so you're getting pushed back and so he's walking like, you know, towards the machine and he's getting hit by like 10 pies <laughs> and everything. <laughs> and it's funny, he gets like taken out. And so it gives her the time she needs to fill up the hole and everything. So she saved the day and everything. A uh, new recruit on like her like first week or so, uh, first week or maybe like two weeks on the job. And she literally became one of the best agents of all, all time and stuff. Well, in the present day, 
you know, her and Otto, they wonder, like, how are they going to stop her old partner now calling himself Odd Todd? Because, like, he's starting his own rogue gallery where he just wants to create, like, chaos in the world and stuff. And, like I said before, this is a case they never solve. And she tells them she has, like, no idea and stuff. Because they haven't seen that dude in a long time. And for him just to show up out of nowhere, because now her confidence level is starting to go down again. However... As time passes, they will meet him more times and they will defeat him and stuff. And both Otto and um, Olive, they go on to graduate to becoming um, O's of themselves. So she becomes Mrs. O and he becomes Mr. O and they lead their own like odd squad, like, you know, division and stuff like that. And they even appear in the Odd Squad movie that takes place in season two. Because, you know, like I said, each season has like a new cast. However, what's strange is that when they come back, they're in their agent's outfit and not in their O outfits. So that's always a weird continuity mistake and stuff. Alrighty, well, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.